I'm going to show you how to unlock a secret area in Chapter 4, the Purple Cloud Mountains. So earlier in Chapter 4, when you get to the webbed ridge at the Upper Hollow Shrine, just follow from this point. You'll need to encounter a boss called the Venom Deost. Now this boss, if you manage to cut off four of its arms off its back, you'll actually get an extra reward if you're collecting armor pieces. I'll put a link in the description on how to actually do that. This guide is just going to show you how to get to the Purple Cloud Mountain and unlock that secret area. So just follow to this point for this first encounter with Venom Deost and defeat him. Stick around till the end, there'll be some important information which I'll list in the description that you'll need to do in a certain order when you're in this secret area so you don't miss out on any quests or items. All you need to do now is just progress chapter 4 until you reach a new area which is going to be called the Temple of Yellow Flowers and to the Court of Illumination. So from this shrine just follow me now to the next point where you're going to have the second encounter with the Venom Deost. Should be a lot easier with four of his arms missing off his back. It is a two-phase boss fight but again I'll also put a link in the description for this boss fight because this is just a quick guide on showing you how to get to the Purple Cloud Mountain and the location. I recommend doing the following in a certain order in the Purple Cloud Mountain secret area. Do the Deost Me quest where he asks you to find an enemy to kill for an item, then go and kill the Scorpion Lord boss, after that go and kill the Dust Veil boss, all in the secret Purple Cloud Mountain area. After that, you can then fast travel back out to the normal area of Chapter 4 and take on the final boss, the Hundred Eyed Deost. So there you have it. Hope this guide helps. If it does, please consider subscribing. Hope to see you all next time.